Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial in ComSol Multiphysics. So in this tutorial we will learn about some basic concepts which are vital for creating mesh for complicated structures so that you don't run with errors and also you will save a ton of computational time as well as I will show you few geometry uh, tips so that it might be useful for you. So let's start with a blank model so i'll click on blank model and we will have our blank model uh, open and then i'll just go on to our 2d because we are working on 2d for this tutorial so there's a geometry and sketch so i'll go on to sketch and create a rectangle just a quick rectangle because this is just for demonstration and now uh, we will draw a curved shape in the rectangle so i click on draw quadratic i'll click here left click i'll left click here and then i'll click here then i will right click click on polygon so what it will do it will change from quadratic to polygon then i will click here and you will see that i have a composite curve now if I go back to geometry, click on build all object and if I uncheck the sketch, you see I have the two solids. Now I'll show you a different uh, technique because uh, when people are beginning to work on geometry, they get confused. So I'll just disable it. Now I again do the same thing. So. I will just click on build selected okay I'll click on sketch and I'll draw quadratic so I'll click here I will click here and I'll click here so I have this shape I will click here and click on fleece quadratic bezier okay now if I go back to geometry I click on build all object you'll see that there is no solid and sometimes people get confused what is going on right so how can we fix this now either you can create a geometry properly like that is for experience teaser and if you are a beginner and you don't want to do it from scratch the easiest way is go on to sketch, uh, sketch go on to polygon and click here and here right click click on finish polygon and then you have a polygon ready basically what it means is if i disable this rectangle and I'll click on build all object you will see that I have this curve and this line just like previously we had in the composite curve so you can just select both of them and click on group now you have the same thing just like the composite curve and now what you can do you can go back to geometry uncheck the sketch and you can go to convert to solid click on the line that is pole 1 so this line click on the quadratic curve so QB1 so we have this two and note that you should keep check unite object and click on build all object now you have the solid ready and of course uh, you can always go back to sketch and you can click on this dot and maybe you can change the curvature and so on if you need it and again you can click on build all object uncheck the sketch and you have your geometry ready so i will enable the rectangle and then we have this geometry done okay now let's go on to mesh and click on build all by default console will create a triangular mesh so now what we want to do is we want to create a mapped mesh so just right click click on mapped and just click on the domain now uh, you have to remember that mapped mesh uh, works well with rectangles and while uh, if you want to select a curved shape then uh, if you click on build selected it will say that a problem occurred failed to create mapped mesh for domain entity must be bounded by at least four edges so you can see that 
uh, it cannot handle the curved shape because when you select a rectangle and click on build selected you'll see that it create a nice uh, rectangular mesh okay so this is the first step and the second step you can do you can just uh, click on mesh and click on free triangular you can either select remaining or you can select domain i will better select the domain and click on build selected now you can see that we have a rectangular mesh here and a triangular mesh here and these are well connected at the interface now uh, you might have to work on some problem where you are interested to see the result at the interface but you see that the mesh is quite coarse so your results will not be smooth enough in that case what you can do you can always create a distribution to create a distribution you can go on to mesh and click on distribution this is a very useful tool i think the most useful tool in all of the mesh settings so just click on the line on where you want to have a dense mesh for example i'll click on uh, here and write 50 so what we'll do is that it will create 50 mesh uh, lines here uh, so that it will have a fine structure so to understand i'll just write 5 and click on build all so probably i uh, oh okay i did a mistake so i did it inside the free triangular i think uh, that is why i'm getting the problem so i'll just delete this so i'll click on mesh uh, i'll click on distribution i'll put it here and now i will click and its number of element is five i'll click on build all so you can see that when i click on five there are five sections as you can see one two three four five this is how you create a mesh of your choice now you can see the other part will automatically adjust itself so now if i create uh, another distribution so let's say i'll create distribution inside the triangle maybe i'll click this and i'll write 50 i'll click on build all now you see that i forced console to say that create five mesh in this boundary but create 50 mesh point in this outer boundary so it will automatically adjust itself to create the particular mesh okay this is how it works now i want to show you uh, one of the important concept that uh, is generally not discussed so the arrangement of these functions or these features is uh, very useful so you have to think what kind of mesh you want to create first so if you want to create the rectangular mesh first then put it at the top if you want to create the curved mesh then put it at the top like that so for example if i drag the distribution maybe in the middle and click on build all you see that the distribution doesn't work uh, because the uh, mesh here is already done in the map so since i have written five but you can see there are more mesh here it is not five so the arrangement of the feature is useful so depending on your priority you have to put it uh, properly so i will drag the distribution below the size because size is my first priority then i'll go on to the distribution so it will create five elements i'll click on build all you can see that it created five element but when i drag it below the mapped and click on build all it doesn't work so for example uh, if i drag the triangular mesh above you can see that the uh, mesh doesn't work properly as well you can see that the triangular mesh dominated and then we get a uh, some curved mesh so uh, depending on your priority you have to set up the mesh structures 
so for me this works fine now i have the uh, mesh ready so one more thing you can do for example you want to study a system where uh, you want to tag the number of point with some parameter so you can always right click click on parameter and you can name it density of a mesh and click ok now if I go on to parameter you can see that I have the density mesh here so if I click here let's say 20 and in the mesh I click on build all it will automatically create 20 points in the mesh so this is how you create a mesh density in your model i hope this tutorial was helpful to you uh, if it did do give a like and do share with your friends so that uh, everyone get to understand how the system actually works and please subscribe so thank you and have a nice day ahead